A Micron variant was discovered in South Africa. It's quickly spread to other countries. KPX5 reporter Wilson Walker live in Pleasanton with more on what we know so far about that new variant. Wilson. Brian, no cases reported in California, but health officials are calling it a concern for the entire world. It's also another reason to appreciate our relatively high vaccination rate here in the Bay Area. Number one, it doesn't look like it evades the vaccines. That's really important. Number two, it's likely more transmissible, but they're still figuring that out. While there is still much we do not know about Omicron, it is another variant with multiple mutations, and it does appear to be more contagious. So it is, in some ways, a bit like another version of Delta. Before Delta, we didn't think we were going to need 75 to 80 percent of an area vaccinated before you're safe. Moderna, half dose, feel pretty good about it. So far, I'm okay. Susan Wasik says Omicron was in the back of her mind as she got her booster shot today. The Bay Area has largely surpassed that 80% vaccinated goal, which has helped keep hospitalization numbers down here, even as they have surged in other parts of the country. Very glad to be boosted. I'm hoping that, you know, this doesn't continue on forever, but I realize it might. Omicron is another reminder that much of the world and even the United States is less vaccinated than the Bay Area and less protected. Where variants will arise is in places with low rates of vaccination. If this shows us anything, it is to get the world vaccinated so this ends for all of us. So Wilson, is there any word if the vaccines are able to target this new variant? Well, as you, as you heard at the start of the story there, it, 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 there's no reason to think that, that the variant can get around the vaccines. And as for the vaccine makers, they say they can update those mRNA vaccines within the next six weeks. Boy, it's like it never ends. In Pleasanton, that's Wilson Walker. Wilson, thank you. Looking live at our Bay Area airports where new travel restrictions will soon be implemented on anyone coming into the United States from South African countries. Starting on Monday, the U.S. will join several Asian and European countries also restricting those travelers. It comes as cases of the new variant have also been detected in Hong Kong and Israel. However, the White House has not placed any new restrictions on travel to those countries. Besides that, we're going to be... Cautious, make sure there's no travel to and from South Africa and six other countries in that region. <clears throat> and um, except for American citizens who are able to come back. Uh, but uh, we don't know a lot about the variant except that it is a great concern. It seems to spread rapidly. The travel ban does not apply to Americans and lawful permanent residents of the U.S. Meanwhile, the FDA is expected to debate authorizing Merck's experimental COVID-19 pill next week. Drug officials say the pill is effective. However, it's still raising some questions about its safety for pregnant women. If authorized by the FDA, it will be the first pill in the U.S. to fight the virus. And the news of that new COVID variant sparking big losses on Wall Street today. The top players all ended the day in the red with the Dow logging its worst day in more than a year.